Good day to you. Now from the Connor Kajik Institute, we welcome you to another virtual program. Today's going to be a little bit different. We're not in historical clothes. Today I'm joined by volunteer Dennis Kibiki. We're going to talk about how volunteers help the Connor Kajik Institute and what our plans are for the future. Dennis, thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. As we stated earlier in the week, uh, this week you donated a $2,000 check for which we are extremely grateful. Why do you want to donate to a place like the Connor Kajik Institute? Well, several reasons, Matthew. One is I love history, uh, and this place represents colonial history very well, I believe. Uh, I used to volunteer here in the past. Um, I stopped volunteering, but then when I discovered what plans you have for the future, I decided to be part of those plans. I think when you look at what's happening in America today, uh, one realizes that many people don't have a full appreciation of American history, and to the extent that we can add to that understanding, expand people's understanding of their past, I think uh, that will um, be a, a boon to uh, the local community. I completely agree. And one of the best ways for visitors to learn about history is to try that hands-on history. So with your generous donation, we've tried to focus on purchases that enable the visitor to experience history with their own hands. For example, uh, we ordered a lot of things about cooking. Everyone understands food. So from hanging rotisseries to pie pans, all just the various things you need to eat in a cabin and it's happened here. With that purchase, we now have that ability to show that to the visitor. Literally in a hands-on is another way. Another volunteer, Pat Todd, is repairing the well. And so with that purchase, we got a well bucket, which apparently has water in it. So the visitor can, with their own hand, pull water out of the well. A simple thing, but for many people, they may never have had that experience, so it's bringing their horizons up. One of the other areas we noticed a lack was in good historic clothing for both the staff, volunteers, and for visitors to try on. Putting on a coat, putting on a cop's hat, might make a lovely family photo, which will echo down the ages and kind of ignite that love of history. We have a very talented volunteer staff here of people who are trained in making historic clothing. So we ordered about $700 worth of fabric, which will make volunteer clothes, children's clothes, so everyone can get an authentic 18th century look to them. We're very lucky here that we have at the Carnegie Institute a very large 18th century medical collection donated by Dr. Lee Davis. And moving forward, we're going to be focusing on doing a very in-depth medical school tour which we can then use as a major headliner here. I understand you have some interest in 18th, 18th century medicine yourself, Dennis. Yes, I do. I've been interpreting the physician at Fort Frederick. And if you think about what's going on in America today, many people are focused on health and medical science, and yet they probably don't realize just how primitive medical care was in the colonial period. So by virtue of the fact that we can highlight the nature of medical care in the colonial era, people can appreciate the high level of medical science and health that they have today. We are very lucky right now, even with everything going on, that science has come to such a point. I too love 8th century medicine, it's a personal passion of mine. And of course, 8th century physicians are characterized by their big black coats. So in that fabric order I mentioned, we're going to need to reorder some black broadcloth to make a good black physician's coat, which volunteers can use for our programs moving forward. Volunteers and donations help sustain the Connick the Institute, helps further our mission, and helps do better programs that we can give to the public. If you're interested in volunteering or donating very generously like Dennis, join us on our website or comment in the Facebook section below and let us know how you would like to help. Dennis, thank you again for your donation. Thank you for everything you do to help us. Oh, you're welcome. And I would encourage everyone to help as best they can to further the goals of the Connecticut Institute. Thank you very much and have a good day.